It is 8th of August. In the south of Ukraine, the advance of Ukrainian army is ongoing. Intense battles have been raging here for several weeks, with constant shelling taking place. Gradually, the Ukrainian land captured by the Russians is being liberated. Advancing here is extremely challenging. Almost the entire southern region of the country consists of fields devoid of hills or deep ravines, which means there is a severe lack of cover. I remember when I read books about the Ukrainian liberation struggles in the early 20th century, I was amazed by the efforts of all the sides of confrontation to seize a village at any cost or at least secure a couple of buildings, perhaps a railway station, before nightfall. Back then, I didn't understand why it was so crucial to fortify somewhere before nightfall. And now, witnessing it with my own eyes, I comprehend if you don't manage to secure walls during the day, you'll spend the night in an open field, completely defenseless against enemy attacks. Almost the only shelter here is the forest plantations. These are strips of forest trees planted by people, which divide the fields with different crops. Usually they are quite small, up to half a mile in length and just a few yards wide. But when there is nothing else, these three strips become the main cover. And what is happening now in the south is often referred to as the war of the forest plantations in the military. Ukrainian soldiers emerge from the plantation they hold, cross the field and storm the plantation where the Russian occupiers are hiding. When I talk about it, it might sound quite simple. Rush forward, run, seize the neighboring plantation. But in reality, it is very, very challenging. The Russian occupiers have mined all the fields between the plantations. Moreover, they mined them so densely that probably no one has ever mined anything like this in history. Usually, mines are placed several yards apart. In Ukraine, however, the mines literally touch each other. On a small piece of land measuring a couple of dozen square yards, there can be a hundred mines, both anti-tank and anti-personal. Therefore, simply running out or venturing into the field, quickly reaching an area with the enemy and eliminating them is virtually impossible. It's not exactly easy to dash through minefields, to be honest. First, the fields need to be cleared of mines. And this is also a highly dangerous process. Firstly, the mines themselves, especially in such quantities, are simply daunting. Secondly, wars who clear the fields are constantly under fire from the Russians. There is hardly a chance to just send in sappers or specialized equipment for the mining to do their job. The occupiers' artillery, tanks or aviation will immediately try to eliminate them. Therefore, initially using drones and guided missiles, all enemy artillery positions and their tanks near the mine fields need to be located and destroyed. The sappers need to be provided with anti-aircraft cover. And only when can the demining process begin? It is a very lengthy and perilous procedure. But the advance is still underway. By the cost of significant losses and, and heroic efforts, Ukrainians are driving the Russians off our land. The Ukrainian army is pushing forward. If only we had a few more modern planes and helicopters to quickly and accurately neutralize the occupiers. But for now, these remain only dreams.